Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in the series of Microsoft Agent Framework. So in this video, I am going to show you how can you transform your AI workflow into agents. So let's say you have already created a workflow in which you have multiple agents participating to perform those activities. And now you want to use that entire workflow as an agent to some other applications. So how can we do that? And the most important thing here is I'm not going to use Azure Foundry or Microsoft Foundry here. I'm going with the open source Olama because I have received a lot many requests that Microsoft Agent Framework is an open source. So can we also use some open source model with this? So indeed we can use that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Llama with Microsoft Agent Framework. So if you don't know what is Olama, I can quickly point you towards that. So you can go to olama.com and this is a website where you can see lot many models which are available for you to use. So you can choose any one of these models, whichever you feel like. So in my case, I'm going with Llama 3.2. And if you are looking at this page for the very first time, then here you can see on the top, Olama run then model name. So if you want to try this model before using it inside your agent, then you can simply run this in your terminal and you can start chatting with the model to get to know more about it, that how it is producing the output, whether it is fast, slow and all those things. So let's go ahead and see how we can pull this model inside our VS Code. So in order to do that, what you need to do is you need to open up your terminal and the very first thing you need is you need to install Olama. So in my case, I have already done it, but if you are doing it for the very first time, it, you may see some extra steps here. Then once you have downloaded, installed this, next thing is you need to download that model onto your local machine. So for that, you just need to grab this name. So make sure that you are grabbing this name correctly. And you need to say, Olama pull and your model name. So as soon as you will hit enter, it will start downloading the model on your machine. Now this particular command is going to take two, three minutes depending on the model you are downloading. So I'm not going to repeat that here, but once your model is downloaded, make sure that you are verifying it that whether it is actually downloaded. So you can do that verification using Olama list and this particular command will list down all the models which you have downloaded on your local machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in my case, I have downloaded these three and out of these three, I'm going to use this one for our use case. So let's get started. The very first thing you need is you need to install these packages. So you can skip the Azure identity and you just need Azure uh, agent framework and the python.env because we are going to read uh, the settings using environment variable. So once that is done, you can go ahead and import these packages here. And the very first thing we need is we need to set up the client. Now let me quickly give you a rough idea what we are doing here. So we are going to create a workflow from scratch and that workflow consists, uh, workflow consists of two agents. So one will generate the title and another uh, another step or the another agent will generate the sentence for us. And we want to make sure that the second agent is executing only after the first one is done. That's how our workflow is. Basically, it's a sequential one. And once that workflow is ready, we can use it as an agent. So let's get started with that. So very first thing is we need to create an object for the chat client. So let me type in few lines here. So I will say chat client, open AI chat client. So this is the class, although it is open AI, but still you can pass in uh, other stuff as well. So when you are going with Olama, you need not to pass in any key, rather you can just say Olama and we are good to go. So this is the one thing. And second thing we need to pass in here is let me press enter here. Okay, so second thing which I need to pass in here is our base URL. So I would say base URL equal to. So base URL is the one where your Olama is running on your local machine. So whatever your URL is, you need to 
make sure that you are passing in that so i would say olama i have set all these things for myself in my configuration so that's why i'm using this jet get env and then you need to pass in this oops then you need to pass in the model name so model would be in the form of model id here and here again you can just read it from your configuration or wherever you have set so i would say olama oops Ulama model and for me it is inside name so whenever this copilot is activated this is what you get sometimes we don't want to use but still it is coming so yeah we can indeed uh, disable it but let's keep it because it's definitely a useful one so we have our chat client ready next thing is we need to create two agents so now the agent creation part is again very simple I'm going to create title generator as a one agent and then i would say chat client dot create agent and the first parameter we need here is the name of our agent and the second parameter would be instructions so let's go ahead and provide some name here and i would say title generator and instructions i can grab it i have already written it somewhere so So I'm saying uh, this is the agent with the name title generator and instructions are you are an agent who is very good in generating title for the given text title should not be more than five words so this is my one agent now define another agent and let's call it as post writer and I would say chat client dot create agent and here again we need to do the similar thing i would say post writer and the instruction will change a little bit so let's go and paste it here so i am saying you are an agent who can write a new sentence for the given title so let's keep it simple if you want uh, you can definitely add more things to it now next thing is we have our agents ready next thing is we need to build our sequential flow so for building the sequential flow i'm going to create a variable named workflow and we will be using sequential builder so let me close it in a bracket and i will call build now sequential builder is going to take all the agents as a parameter which we want to associate as a sequence so will say sequencer builder dot participants and it will take uh, it will take the list of all the participants so in our case it's title generator and the post writer so this is going to build our workflow and once our workflow is built we need to provide the prompt here so let me quickly go ahead and or we can first define whatever is required and then we can define this excuse me okay so next thing is we need to convert this particular workflow as an agent so for that i would say you can name it anything i would say workflow create agent or workflow agent and here we can say workflow name which we have just cre uh, created as a bow step and then we'll say as agent and inside this we need to provide the name of our agent we can say content creator or the con content we can say generator so this is the name of our workflow agent now we are good to go ahead and use it as an agent so for using that we need some prompt so i would quickly define a prompt here so again i will grab it so this is my prompt i don't need to read it because i just generated from the copilot i asked for few lines related to national forest and this is what we have so you can define your own prompt then i would say async now 
just let me type it first async for chunk in workflow agent dot run stream it should be there yeah so this is the asynchronous flow that's why i'm going with run stream but if you are going with synchronous then you need not to go with run stream simply going by run would work for you now if this is the case then i would say if if there is something in our chunk then go ahead and print it out so what we are going to do, print let's print this chunk text and i would say and we'll make flushes true because you don't want to retain it we are almost done let me quickly run it once and see if everything is set up correctly so i would say python let's say what let's see what it gets for us so now it is building the workflow and once the workflow is ready it will go ahead and convert it to the agent now you can see how nicely we have received the output so here is the title and a sentence based on a given text the title is protecting nature's gems forever and this would be the sentence the one liner sentence which we asked for and if you will look at these lines these are like related to national forest and greenery and all those things natural resources so this is what i have and if you will look at this in your case you can definitely make it more complex uh, but this thing will still remain as it is it will just change like what model you're using endpoint project uh, url and all those things but when you're generating the client uh, uh, agent here you can plug in your tools you can plug in your knowledge bases and everything so do let me know if you're looking for a complete flow including knowledge bases and uh, tools or even mcp server plug into this so let me know and i will come up with another video with that flow Till then, thanks for watching.